Get ready for a theory that will shift your understanding of the car's universe into high gear. Today we embark on a wild and wacky theory that will have you honking with disbelief. Buckle up, because we're about to explore the mind-boggling theory that the lovable cars in the car's universe are not just machines, but evolved humans in disguise. What if, beneath their shiny exteriors and roaring engines, the cars in the car's universe were more than just machines? What if they were the evolved descendants of humans? You see, this theory suggests that the cars we know and love could have a hidden human connection. A connection that goes beyond mere metal and gears. We're talking about a transformation so extraordinary that it would make Optimus Prime blush. It's time to put our theory into overdrive and examine the evidence supporting the mind-bending notion that the cars in the cars universe are, indeed, evolved humans. Let's start with Lightning McQueen himself. Now, we all know he's a superstar race car with a need for speed. But if you look closely, you'll notice something intriguing. Lightning possesses emotions, dreams, and ambitions just like us humans. He experiences joy, frustration, and a burning desire to win. That's not your typical car behavior, and Lightning McQueen isn't alone in this. Take a look at his buddy Motter. He's a lovable tow truck with a quirky sense of humor. He tells jokes, shares laughter, and forms meaningful relationships. It's as if he's more than just a machine. He has a human-like personality that transcends his mechanical form. Now, let's shift our focus to the world around them. Have you ever noticed the architecture in Radiator Springs? Take a look at those curved road signs. They bear a striking resemblance to old street lamps, and that cozy little motel. It looks strangely like a converted human dwelling. These are subtle clues that suggest a connection to the human world, but it doesn't stop there. The car's universe is filled with activities that mirror human culture. We see cars attending drive-in theaters, engaging in motorsports, and even going on road trips. It's almost as if they're reliving the experiences and traditions of their human predecessors. The cars have taken what was once human and made it their own. Lastly, let's consider the car's ability to communicate with one another. They have their own language, their own way of expressing themselves. It's as if they're using a form of communication that harkens back to their human origins. It's not just honking horns and engine revs. There's a genuine sense of connection and understanding. Now I know what you're thinking. Where did the human bodies go? Well, my friends, that's the biggest mystery of all. Perhaps during the transformative event, the human bodies were transformed into car parts, fueling the rise of the automotive civilization we see in the movies. Or maybe they ascended to a higher plane of existence, their consciousness residing within the metallic shells of these evolved vehicles. Imagine a world where scientific advancements have reached unimaginable heights. Perhaps in the car's universe, brilliant scientists were conducting experiments to merge humans with technology. These experiments, driven by a thirst for progress and innovation, may have resulted in a groundbreaking discovery. The ability to fuse human bodies with the very vehicles they created. Let's consider the environmental angle. Imagine a world where humanity had pushed the limits of industrialization and faced severe consequences in the form of environmental degradation. Pollution choked the skies, and natural resources were depleted at an alarming rate. In the face of this crisis, humans may have sought a radical solution, merging with the very machines they had created. As the world changed, the evolution into cars allowed humans to adapt to their new reality. The mechanical bodies of the vehicles provide a means to withstand the harsh environmental conditions, such as pollution and resource scarcity. With their newfound automotive forms, humans were equipped with enhanced durability and capabilities to navigate through challenging terrains and endure the adverse effects of a deteriorating ecosystem. The roads, buildings, and infrastructure we see in the car's universe could be echoes of a bygone era, reminding us of the human society that once thrived before the transformation into cars. As humans underwent their mysterious metamorphosis into cars, the world around them would have undergone a significant upheaval. The remnants of their former lives would have been left behind, frozen in time, as a testament to their existence. The roads we see stretching across the landscape may have been once bustling highways and streets, filled with human-driven vehicles, now repurposed by the evolved car civilization. He buildings and infrastructure we encounter in the car's universe might also be remnants of human architecture, adapted and repurposed to accommodate the needs of the new automotive society. Skyscrapers that once housed offices and residential spaces now serve as towering parking structures while factories and warehouses have been transformed into bustling car-related establishments. It's as if the cars, in their evolved state, have found a way to adapt and repurpose the remnants of human civilization to suit their automotive needs. The familiar elements we encounter, such as traffic lights, gas stations, and car repair shops, might have been repurposed from their original human-centric functions, now serving the car society in their new automotive reality. Imagine the possibilities, the cars cruising through the car's universe may have once been teachers, astronauts, or even race car drivers. It's like a quirky reunion where everyone has traded their limbs for wheels. The car's universe might just be a highway of evolved humans living their lives on wheels. You can also check out this video, where I discuss about a crazy Pixar theory that will just blow your mind.